the electric car battery must be in the water as soon as possible in an emergency. When recycling electric car batteries, the safety effort is gigantic. A warehouse for such batteries must be flooded with extinguishing foam within minutes, just like this one. Electric car batteries are highly flammable or explode. Of course, we have had an exciting journey since the opening. In the beginning, even very adventurous. Whoever gets involved in recycling first could make a huge deal. This is because the batteries contain valuable metals such as cobalt or nickel. By 2030, we expect 15 million electric cars on our German roads. 15 million, that is. 2030 is almost the day after tomorrow, economically speaking. We are in Europe's largest recycling plant for e-car batteries. Opened only a few months ago. We are probably standing on one of the most expensive floors in Germany. We have not saved money here to realize safety first. The bottom is absolutely dense. It is several meters deep and equipped with a sensor that would immediately notify us if any substances were to penetrate the ground. The delivered batteries have faults, were sorted out in car factories. However, only a few are still coming here. The focus is primarily on testing and implementing new technologies and then really being able to exploit them in continuous operation. And accordingly, our focus is not on daily maximum utilization, but really to learn as much as we can to be ready when these old batteries come out, when all of a sudden these high volumes come out. High volumes, IDS large quantities, will be generated when the batteries of the first e-cars run out in a few years. Then, the big business thinks with the so-called black mass and the metals contained in it. We are striving to recover 95% of our nickel, manganese and cobalt, which are the most expensive, valuable doctors. Also, of course, lithium and aluminum and copper. The world is betting on electric cars. The demand for these metals for the batteries will grow strongly. By recycling, manufacturers could reduce the purchase from inhumane mines. Nowadays, we are much too dependent on raw materials from third countries. The material from the German recycling plant ends up in Northern Europe. The batteries are shredded and processed in a chemical process to form the so-called black mass, the black gold of the recycling industry. Among other things, this green mix can be obtained from nickel, manganese, and cobalt, which is used in this form for new batteries. But is the price also right for this? Exact prices are just very, very difficult because it is still under construction from all sides. Of course, both market prices on the world market are extremely dynamic. That means that it is not fixed and for us it is also very, very complicated to set. When the operation is started up, a lot of things should be automated. However, the batteries still need to be improved for high recycling rates. When we talk about car batteries, we clearly see that, for example, German motorists are now focusing more and more on product design. They want to work with us, because they are just as interested in the raw materials as we are. You also want to close the loop. And high recycling rates, such as for aluminum, have another advantage. In the end, they are also good for the climate. Every ton of aluminum that we can return to the smelting purposes saves 95% of energy, and thus also to co. These are the real heroes, so to speak, raw materials compared to raw materials that we get from the mines. The operators of the recycling plant have made advance payments of more than 10 million euros for a possible huge business. Actually a safe bet for you.